more tips that you'll want to know to fix your small engine. Now we're dealing with the bottom end. Well, of course, very often on lawnmowers, the crank seal leaks. Well, that's pretty easy to fix, except that the drive hub never comes off. They're always rusted on. And most times, 90% of the time, you've got to split them in half to get them off. But I'll show you some other techniques. First, this technique takes two people. You get one person to hold each side of the hub with their hand, with the whole lawnmower upside down, with the handle maybe removed or maybe not. Or if the engine's off, that's even easier. While they're holding it like that in the air, put the bolt back in most of the way. And without hitting their fingers, just start whacking that really hard. And there's a good chance it might lift off if it's not too rusty. Plan B. With the same bolt installed just like we were talking about, put a gear puller on it. Leave the bolt up, you know, about a half inch. And tug on it hard. When the gear puller is nice and tight, whack the top end with a hammer too. Now, if that doesn't work, well, the final solution. These cutoff wheels, as they're called, this happens to be the best quality one. It says it's made for steel and stainless steel, but it works on anything. It even cuts glass. Put one of them on your handy-dandy angle grinder and just slit it here and slit it here. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit too deep and cut into the crankshaft, so what if there's a groove in there? It makes no difference whatsoever, so don't worry. When you get it mostly slit, just stick a flat screwdriver in the slot, hit that with a hammer, and the two pieces break off, or just whack one of the ears, and it breaks off, and then just replace the part. They cost between 5 and $10, but some specialty ones, like this one, might cost up to $20. Then you can change the seal. I have two common ways that I change seals. One is the most redneck method. You get a long, skinny, flat screwdriver. You stick it flat side against the crankshaft on an angle like this, and you tap it in with a hammer so that it goes in at about that angle and gets underneath the metal lip of the seal. Then when it's in there, you put another screwdriver under here as a leverage point. Then you pry up like this and see if you can pop the seal out. And this won't damage the smooth part of the crankshaft because the screwdriver is just sort of sliding on it. So don't worry about that. My other technique, which is very popular, is a drywall screw. These are extremely hard, have a nice point already on them. If you need a pointier point, you can grind it yourself. So when the hub is off, stick this on the metal part, the seal, a little bit closer to the outside edge. Pound it straight down with a hammer till it pierces it a little bit. Then take your screwdriver, and with a bunch of downforce with your hand pushing on it, screw it in to the screw, bottoms out, and hits the aluminum underneath, and then stop. Get another screw. You can even leave the screw driver in the screw to make it easier to pound it in if you want with the hammer. And screw one in the other side of the seal. Now when they're both screwed down to a contact point, then just evenly screw one down, then the other one down, and back and forth. And that'll pull and draw the seal right out so it's easy to change. Once you're ready to put the new seal back in, use a rag and clean out the mounting surface perfectly clean as best you can, no oil whatsoever. And put a little bit of Loctite around the outside of the seal. And if you're desperate, use silicone. And then tap the seal back in with a piece of pipe or something on top of it so it taps in nice and square and evenly. And that'll hold the seal in better and put it in squarely and prevent it from leaking around the outside edge. Simple as that. Zip cut wheels are such a wonderful invention that they cut any bolt, no matter how hard. You can just cut sheet metal. If you want a door handle off of a car that you want to save, you just zip, zip, zip. In a few seconds, you've cut the door handle off when you cut the steel. If you want to cut rust on your vehicle, you just cut out a piece with your zip cut saw and voila, you can weld a new chunk in. Gotta love it. Because of those wheels, I actually haven't used a hacksaw in years. There isn't even a hacksaw in my shop. I just use that for everything. You wouldn't believe it. These are the best quality wheels. They cost about $4 each. You can get wheels as cheap as 2 bucks. You can get them from Home Depot, Rona, Canadian Tire. But the place to get the good quality ones from is welding supply stores. They last twice as long. They're just so wonderful.